Hey guys, this is Sam, and today we're talking about what's new in iOS 11.1 Beta 1. Apple released this to developers just a day after releasing iOS 11.0.1 to everyone. Before I started using iOS 11.1 today, I had really high expectations for what we would be seeing. I thought we would finally get peer-to-peer -peer Apple Pay, we would start to see new emojis, maybe even new wallpapers, and also the return of the 3D Touch multitasking function. But none of that was included in iOS 11.1. It took me a good 25 minutes to discuss the first new feature or change. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, the unlock animation from the lock screen to the home screen is so much faster in iOS 11.1 Beta 1 than it was in iOS 11.0. As you can see here, when I'm unlocking my iPhone 8, it's less than a second, maybe even a half second, to get from the lock screen to the home screen. It's instant, there is no delay. Even in iOS 11.0, the unlock animation wasn't that slow, but it's not even fair to compare the two because this one is so much better. Who wouldn't want to get to the home screen? Screen faster. Next up, when you're jumping between apps in iOS 11.1, the animation is similar to the one found in iOS 11.0, but it might be a tad slower and it's definitely a little bit more dramatic. You can really see yourself switching from one card or one app screen to the other. I like it, I think it looks really good, and it's a small change, but I think it's a nice touch. There's also a refresh animation when you tap the status bar to jump to the top of a scroll view. You can find this in any app like Settings, Tweetbot, or anywhere else where you see a scroll bar on the right side of the screen. Before we just jump up very quickly, but in iOS 11.1, it slows down at the very end and decelerates before taking you to the top. Now this is another really small change, something that isn't going to make a big impact on your daily usage, but in hindsight, I think it looks so much better than what we had before in iOS 11.0 and earlier. Moving over to the Messages app, there was an upgrade to an already existing feature here that I really enjoyed. Whenever you would type specific words, the iOS predictive text keyboard would suggest emojis to go along with whatever you were saying. Before, you'd only get one or two emojis, but in iOS 11.1 in Beta 1, you're seeing more suggestions, up to three emojis for when you say something like smile or ha ha or oh wow. I really like this because sometimes the emoji that was suggested, just the one or two that were there, weren't accurate for what I really wanted to say. I wanted that third emoji that wasn't displayed, and it defeated the purpose of the feature because I had to open the emoji keyboard and input it manually. But in iOS 11.1, things are working really well. There are three recommendations recommendations for a lot of common phrases, and it's going to make texting so much quicker because you don't have to go down to the emoji keyboard to find a lot of emojis that are going to go along with what you're saying. The last thing that I want to touch on is performance. Is the performance in iOS 11.1 better than iOS 11.0? Well, I feel like it runs better on my iPhone 8 and my iPad Pro 10.5 inch than iOS 11.0 and iOS 11.0.1 did. But that being said, these are two newest devices that Apple's offering. The iPhone 8 just came out and the iPad Pro came out in June. So iOS 11.1 and any version of iOS should be blazing fast on these devices. But even as far as launching apps go, I feel like the animation could be ever so slightly quicker and it feels really smooth for a beta one version of a piece of software software, iOS 11.1 does feel really great. To see if there was any hard data behind the performance improvements that I was noticing, I ran a Geekbench test on my iPhone 8 after updating to iOS 11.1 Beta 1. I compared it to a test I ran on iOS 11.0 just a couple of days before, and while the single core score was pretty much the same, the multi-core score on iOS 11.1 was the slightest bit higher. It could just be a fluke though, and it wasn't enough to be like, there are major performance improvements in this update. It was just a little bit better and that could be part of the reason that I think the performance has been improved. So as of right now, that's the story of iOS 11.1. Of course, if more changes are discovered, I'll be sure to update the blog post down below in the description. But for what it is, I'm very disappointed. I thought we would see peer-to-peer -peer Apple Pay. I thought we would see the reinstatement of the 3D Touch app switching gesture that so many people are really missing. I thought we might see some other big features and changes just because this is an iOS 11.1 release. It's not something like iOS 11.0.1 where we really aren't expecting any big changes in the first place. But that being said, there is always time for Apple to add more features and changes in the future. This is only beta one of iOS 11.1 and this will likely be a beta for the next month or month and a half. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, as always, feel free to drop a like down below and it would really help me out. And of course, hit subscribe for more videos on iOS 11.1 in the future. I've been Sam, I hope you're doing great, and I'll talk to you in the next video.